I've got more videos for Three Hopes coming, but I wanted to make this one because it didn't really fit in any topic I'll be covering soon, and it's a super simple tip. The Weapon Prowess ability, or skill as I'll probably refer to as, gives you 10%, 20%, or 30% more damage with your class's weapon, depending on the prowess skill level. In Three Houses, this was tied to weapon level, but that's not the case in Three Hopes. You may end up like me or in the end game, my Shez only had Sword Prowess level 1, despite mastering his Asura class, and almost mastering the Mortal Savant class, which is real fun by the way. Well, in the change class tab, if you press the Y button two times, you'll see the class abilities individual characters learn from mastering a class. You may have noticed that pretty much all of these are one and done abilities, but sword prowess, axe prowess, and so on actually have a level tied to them. These skills give you extra damage when using said weapons, so if I can go from 10% bonus damage to 30% bonus damage, that's a nice boost. Instead of just fighting with a sword over and over, you actually need to master classes with the weapon prowess skill itself. These appear on three separate classes, and you need all of them to hit level 3. For example, as Shez, if you went from Flugel to Swordmaster to Asura, you won't get any sword prowess. I don't remember if Shez earns levels with the Myrmidon class, but you actually need to master it to get the first sword prowess anyway. To get the second and third levels, you need to master the Mercenary and Thief classes. I say master, but you just need two stars. I believe this is true for all characters learning swords. The idea is going to be the same for other weapon prowess skills. If you want level 3 for 30% more damage, you need to put time into other classes with the same prowess skill. There are some oddities, so let's go through each of them. Next after swords is Lance Prowess. This one is simple for the boys. Hit up Soldier, Cavalier, and Paladin on your way to your master classes. However, for the ladies, if you go Pegasus Knight and Falcon Knight, these do not seem to get Lance Prowess. You're going to get level 2 from Soldier and Paladin, but you also need to go through Cavalier for level 3. It's a bit awkward. For Axes, this one kind of sucks. Edelgard has the same issue as Shez. In the endgame, she only has Axe Prowess level 1 from the Fighter Beginner class, but going from Armored Lord to Fortress Knight to Emperor nets you nothing else. To get level 2 and 3, you have to rank up the Armored Knight Intermediate class and then the Warrior Advanced class. From my observations, this is true for all characters as well, which means you need to do some extra training. If the character learns Bow Prowess from the Fighter class, you'll pick up the Axe Prowess skill from the Brigand Intermediate class instead. That will lead into our Bow Prowess and Brawling Prowess skills. These are real easy because they only lead down one tree. If you don't learn Bow Prowess as a fighter, you'll pick it up from the Archer Intermediate class. Second and third levels come from Sniper and then Bow Knight at the end. Similar deal for Brawling Prowess, just go from Brawler, Grappler, into War Master, no problem. May just seem to all follow a pattern for male and females. Everyone seems to learn Faith Prowess from the Beginner Monk class. Then you're going to get level 2 and 3 from Priest and Bishop. Now, if you want Reason, you're going to need to become a Mage, then a Warlock. For level 3 for the ladies, you need the Grammary class. And for the guys, you're going to need the Dark Bishop class. If you only level up Dark Mage, you're going to miss out on one level. Real basic tip, but if you want 30% bonus damage, then you may need to do a lecture training or farming for these skills. In the later stages of the game with the Knowledge Gem, it's really fast to level up the intermediate classes if you just farm enemies in a stage. I wouldn't waste your training points if you don't want to go further down the class tree. That's all I got for this video, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.